Hey guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions. I am coming to you live from my new bedroom. Um, I've just made a month here in Georgia and everything's been going really great. If you're like, whoa, Georgia, what do you mean? I thought you lived in Florida. Well, you should watch the video before this and I went into a whole explanation about how my life just like changed and I gave you all the updates. So if you haven't watched that video, you should watch it before this one because it would be a little bit confusing in a way, maybe not, because because the point is not to be about my life, it's going to be skincare, but anyways. So, I am trying to figure out where I'm going to like set up for my videos and like what background I want to do. Um, I don't think I want to do green screen, I want to like keep it like something like real, you know what I mean? So right now I couldn't figure out anything, so I was like, okay, I'm going to set up my little sign, the lights in the back and this is a little corner i'm working with right now so we're gonna make it work for now until i figure out what exactly i want to do for the time being but this is cute this works all right no more chit chat let's get down to the good stuff i wanted to make a video about skincare on to give you guys some updates about new products that i have tried and to give my reviews on them so I have been trying a few different things from my last um, skincare video. Once those products finished, I switched and I tried other things. So I'm going to talk to you guys about that today and share with you guys my thoughts on those products. I'm coming to you live as well with a no makeup today because, you know, it's just one of those days that you're like, I just don't want to do my makeup and my viewers are going to accept me for who I am. So let's get started. <laughs> skincare video I the two products I was mainly using was the pixie vitamin C and the um, ordinary hyaluronic acid I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right I think I am so then once I've, it went really well I thought it went well I was a little iffy I went to detail about the vitamin C I was iffy that like the color was yellow so I thought that um the product was just like defective but it turns out I well actually let me just not go there yet We'll, we'll go back to that so then um, once I finished those products I tried a whole another brand of hyaluronic acid and another brand of vitamin C so I decided to try the vitamin C from Amazon that has supposed to be super good reviews and it's like one of their top selling um, items on Amazon which is a true skin serum vitamin C 20 has um, vitamin E and it has hyaluronic acid as well Let's see if I can show you guys there you go. So, I don't want to say it went bad because it didn't go bad. I used the whole thing. I don't have anything anymore. But it didn't go as I expected. Like, I thought it would just be... I didn't think it was going to be life-changing on my skin either. But I really didn't see a difference. Like, I really didn't see anything different on my skin. Like, it was just... I don't know I don't know how to explain I'm the worst at explaining stuff guys I want to explain stuff but I'm just the worst I just didn't see any difference I didn't see making it my, my making my face brighter I didn't see my skin looking even that healthy either like it's just like it's just normal it really didn't do what I expected it to do I felt like the pixie I did see more changes in my skin the way it was looking every time I would apply it and how it would just look throughout the day and everything that than this so i don't think i will purchase this again it was a good price so i think it was like 20 dollars so if i purchase it again it'll be because it's an emergency and i don't know what other vitamin c to use but i really don't think i'll purchase this one again so then the hyaluronic acid that i was using with the vitamin c because sometimes vitamin c does tend to be a little bit drying on the skin this one Yes, this one was, I think it was a little bit drying, so I, I usually didn't You just use it by itself. And I remember when I used the Mario Badescu one, I really liked that one as well, but it was extremely drying because it was very harsh on the skin, so I was never able to use it by itself. And when I did use it by itself, because I didn't, I was too lazy to throw cream on or something else, it was too drying. So those are the two um, vitamin C's that I've tried that I've had that problem with. 
hey guys if you hear like a weird noise in the back or something it's because i'm i'm washing my clothes so i hope like the sound this is sound so weird because I'm not even using a mic so let's hope this works so with this vitamin C I was using the hyaluronic acid from good molecules hyaluronic acid serum let's see get the there you go um honestly I like I liked how this one felt because the ordinary one I think the ordinary one was the, the first um, hyaluronic acid that I ever tried the serum itself, not like cream based. And it was very like gooey and very like sticky. Like I didn't mind it that much, but it was like, it just felt weird. But this one, no, this one, the texture is like nice. Like it doesn't feel gooey, like it's nice texture. And I liked how it felt my skin. It wasn't very, it wasn't drying at all. Like I felt like it gave it, you know, moisture and the shine that it was supposed to. The only thing I would say that I didn't like about it was that sometimes in the morning, like after I would wash my face, whatever, because um, I usually apply like before bed, and then I were gonna put, um, I would put moisturizer on like the next day in the morning when I'm gonna go apply my makeup, like if I have to do my makeup for work or something, and I would put on my moisturizer and I'll plastic with like the brush, like I'll just notice like the skin lose, lose like little bit of flakes but it's not like flakes from like when your skin is dry it's flakes of like if you have like one layer of like a serum or something like it's flaky and it's like you know you could just take it off like it's just the serum itself that is you know falling off like, does that make sense well i don't know how to explain it but i had that problem so that's the only thing i didn't like about this one but as far as being um giving my skin moisture and keeping it hydrated I liked it and then I also really liked the texture of it as well so so you know if you want to try it go ahead I kind of recommend it it's not bad um and the prices I think the molecule has really good prices too nothing's overpriced so that's good yeah so those are the two main products that I started using after my last um, skincare video so then here um, I also have a few other good molecule products that I have been testing out but i haven't tested out so like frequently for me able to give you guys like a good review on it but i'm just gonna go tell you guys a little bit about each and so far what i've liked or what i haven't liked so this one is a priming moisturizer and it's silicone free and it has is it the hyaluronic one give me one sec it's silicone free priming moisturizer i think this has a hyaluronic acid but i'm not sure if it's did I open it upside down? Stand by. Formulated with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, plant-based silicone alternative, deeply hydrates, smooth and nourish your skin. Alright, it doesn't have hyaluronic acid, but it's a priming moisturizer. I tried this once with my makeup and it wasn't bad. I liked it, but the only thing that was too... Um, it made my skin a little bit too dewy so it's i wasn't really a fan i guess it depends with what um base or what foundation i wear with with this under that that would help it i would have to put something a little bit more drying on top to like balance it out and won't look too oily too dewy so because it wasn't that it was oily it was like it was just dewy it's too dewy for my taste so i have to find that seat like i have to try it out again with like probably another foundation to see how it looks with it so I, i'm still gonna give it a chance i'm still gonna keep trying it because it does feel really really nice when you try it on your skin it's like very soft and it does feel very hydrating and it feels like not matte what does it feel like it feels honestly it just it just feels like it's very hydrating like and very very soft so I'm gonna keep testing this out and once I do test it out a little bit more, I will give you guys a more honest opinion of what I thought about it. Here I have an ultra hydrating facial oil, I have a pure cold pressed rose hip seed oil, and I have a squale, squalane oil, I might not be pronouncing that right. So squalane oil is this lightweight facial oil that softens seals in moisturizer and moisture and regulate skin's natural oil balance um the ultra hydrating facial oil says formulated where cornelia seed buckthorn oils to hydrate protect and nourish and the rose hip seed oil says antioxidants rich, rich facial oil that delivers natural vitamin a and helps restore skin 
elasticity elasticity um I have tried these not very frequently like I've tried it to just like if I find my face like really dry or something like I just like throw it on to see how it feels and if they're you know their serums are oil based so it is oily um but I, then again I haven't tried it like every night or something for me to be able to tell you like what I liked what I didn't like did it do what it told me that it was gonna do so I do I do plan on putting these into my routine and trying these out so I can be able to share that with you guys but what I really love about these products and um, good molecules in general the brand is that everything is so natural everything it's like it's just made out of nature you know it's just natural products no harsh chemicals in it and I love that everything natural is just so good for you I, I love it and once I try these I will give you guys a more better review on them so now we're going to move on to some new products that I purchased and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about them and yeah and I'm actually going to start testing them out today so we'll see how that goes. So it's three The Ordinary products. Is that The Ordinary? It's just they have really good reviews too and like honestly the prices are so good so good and I feel like it's um it's like the chemical that you're getting it's like pure chemical but it's like like pure what you're getting so guess what i purchased the hyaluronic acid again because the good molecule one just finished and honestly i didn't know like what which one else to try the i know honest beauty has one and i've heard honest beauty is like really good products and they're very natural so i should have tried honest beauty but whatever eventually i'll get there um, and what else? I, yeah, I really didn't have time to do my research. I was like, I really need hyaluronic acid. All the stores are closed. Like, let me just order what I've tried. And I know it. I liked it. And it works. So, so that's what I did. So I purchased it again. And the only thing I didn't like about this was just the texture. The gooiness made me feel weird. But... It's back in my skincare routine. All right, another one that I purchased was Buffet. Now this one was recommended to me by the lady that I did my facial, um, the last time I did my facial in January, I think. Let me pull it up online so I can tell you guys what this has. Because, you know, as the name says, Buffet, it has different stuff in there. Because when you go to a Buffet, what do you get? Different stuff. So let's see what a Buffet has. Oh, I do not understand what this is. Alright, so <laughs> I pulled up Buffet in like the Ordinary's website and it's like gibberish. It's too many chemicals named. Like I have no idea what's going on. So let me pull it up on Ulta. Maybe I think that'll be a little bit more helpful. Buffet. Alright, let's start by it's $14. That's that's amazing. If and if there's more than one acid in there, then that's good for you. 14 bucks, heck yeah. So it says the ordinary's buffet combines a comprehensive array of studied technologies to target multiple signs of aging at once and then it goes on to like different chemicals that you know one I, I can't pronounce i don't know if you guys can pronounce it but i cannot pronounce it so i'm not even going to get into those details um but it's a few in there because as the name implies buffet and it has da 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 in a base of 11 skin friendly amino acids and multiple hyaluronic and complexes all right, guess it has hyaluronic acid as well. The total concentration of these technologies in the formula by weight is 25.1. I don't know what that means, but all right. Um, it says reduces and prevents multiple signs of aging, hydrates the skin, cruelty-free and vegan, formulated without alcohol, silicone, nuts, and gluten. Formulated without alcohol, that's really good because alcohol tends, it's of course, very drying, so you don't want that on your face. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this into my routine somehow and ooh, texture irregularities as well surface hydration just gonna play around with this one and i'll let you guys know how it goes once i finish the first round the first bottle and another one that i bought was the peeling solution now this one caught my attention because i saw a lot of people like on instagram using this one and it's like it looks like they have blood on their face i was like Mm, that's interesting. What is that? So then I did my research and it's this product. It's called AHA 
30% plus BHA, 2% peeling solution. What does AHA mean? I have no idea. BHA, I have no idea. And I should have, you know, I should have researched that before before doing this video, clearly. But it is what it is. It says it's a 10 minute exfoliating facial, pH 3.6. Uh, it says direction, clean face and wait for skin to dry, do not use on wet face, apply evenly across the neck, use fingertips avoiding the eye area, leave on for no more than 10 minutes, rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water, do not use on sensitive peeling or compromised skin, avoid eye contour and contact with the eyes during the, during, uh, contact with eyes during application and rinse off. Alright. Do not use more than two times per week. Do not leave more than 10 minutes. Um, uh, let's see what else it says here on Ulta. Um, da -da -da, exfoliating mask, ingredients. Has a bunch of some acids in there. I see a hyaluronic acid, hy hydro, hydroxyl acid. I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, vitamin BS, which assists in healing. Um, oh, it does have hyaluronic, hyaluronic. It does. It does have hyaluronic acid, so that's good. Um, black carrot provides antioxidant support. Interesting. Targets stoneness and texture irregularities. Deeply exfoliates, refines, improves skin texture and skin radiance. Reduces the appearance of blemishes and helps fight visible blemishes. Reduces the look of fine lines with continued use. Recommended for dry, normal, oily combination skin types. That's good. Um, pH 3.5 uh, through 3.7. Cruelty free and vegan. Does not contain alcohol, gluten, nuts, oil, silicone, parabens, parabens, whatever, sulfates. So that's what it is. Honestly, I look at the list of what it has and it's gibberish. It's just a bunch of chemicals, but it has good reviews. So I'm going to try it out. And this one cost $7. Ordinary is just so clutch. I just can't. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be testing these two out because the hyaluronic ones are already tested. Uh, once I do play around with these, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Alright, so this is my current situation with the Ordinary Peeling Solution. This is the first time I'm trying it. And honestly, it... It hurts a little bit like it's t a little bit tingly and it kind of itches so i really want to scratch it and i just hope that's normal and it's not a allergic reaction or something you know but it looks like i'm getting the vampire of facials what it looks like it looks like it's blood all over my face um so yeah it, the liquid is like it's, it's watery so that's the texture you're going to get if you're wondering what you were gonna expect, it's watery. So we'll see how it goes. I will let you guys know how my face feels when I take it off. Hopefully it's not full of full of rashes or just bumps and let me just stop talking. <laughs> I don't wanna jinx it. Update, I did not get an allergic reaction, thank goodness. And this is how my face looks, how my skin looks right now. It looks good, it has this little shine. It's nice and smooth. It's actually very, very soft. So that's good. Um, I'm probably just going to do this once a week. It says no more than two times, but I think I'm just going to stick to one. So after a few tries and a few um, times that I use it, I will give you guys an update and I'll let you know how it goes or how it went. So as far as vitamin C goes, I went back to Pixie because... Honestly, I didn't want, I didn't have time to do the research. Everything was close to buy skincare, and you know, Target was open. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give Pixie another try because I, it's not that I didn't like it. I did like Pixie from the start. It's just the color that it was yellow, so I thought it was just like, um, like it, like it went bad. Like I didn't think it was um good, but it turns out they're all the same color. So my product was not bad. It's it's pretty normal that it's this color so so yeah i bought it again um and honestly i just love how it makes my skin feel even when i just use this vitamin c by itself without like moisturizer or hyaluronic acid my skin looks so nice and bright and not dry at all 
it's crazy. This vitamin C, it's really good. It's really, really good. And uh, I think the first time I purchased it was like 30 something, but here in Georgia's Target, it was like 25 bucks. So that's a good price. So I'm um, going to link all these products down below so you guys can check them out if anything. And yeah, um, I am almost at a thousand subscribers, so please like this video and subscribe. I have really cool stuff coming up. If you do not follow me on Instagram, find me and follow me. I do a lot of behind the scenes of doing my work as a reporter, so I throw in there some cool stuff. I do want to start vlogging eventually. I just have to like learn how to manage my time a little bit better so I can have time to do that because vlogging, it's, it's a little hard when you're doing like five other things at the same time. So eventually I do want to start doing those videos for you guys. So yeah, if you don't want to miss um, me putting a new video up, my new post, then follow me and we're gonna have fun together. I don't know what else to say. If you guys have any recommendations of other products that I should try, either when it comes to either vitamin C or hyaluronic acid, I am all open for recommendations. I want to hear it all. I want to find out about cool new products. So definitely leave it, leave it down below. Let me know because I want to check them out and I want to try it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!